One of the biggest stars in Ultimate Fighting is embroiled in scandal once again. John Jones has failed a doping test that was done before his UFC title match last month. This is his second potential violation in 13 months. Jones was also stripped of the title in 2015 after being arrested in a hit and run. Mike Bond is a sports reporter with USA Today and Rolling Stone. He is in Las Vegas. Mike, uh, what do you make of this? Very unfortunate. I mean, John Jones is a guy just a few weeks ago after he won back the title with just a beautiful performance against Daniel Cormier. We're talking about this is one of the greatest comeback stories in sports history, not just MMA and, you know, a great redemption story, just so much positive stuff. It seemed like all these things were behind him. He's saying all the right things. And then this news break and it kind of shatters his world again. So it's still pretty fresh. We're still finding out all the facts. We're still trying to get more to the story. But right now, I mean, what can you say? It's just John Jones. His family has even said it best. His father has a famous quote. The only person that can beat John Jones is John Jones. And it seems like over these past few years, he can't get out of his own way. He is his own worst enemy. Uh, since this uh, news erupted, what have we heard from uh, the athlete himself and from his camp? He has not spoken yet. He's been completely silent on the matter, but we've heard a little bit from his team. Uh, his manager put out actually like a fairly lengthy statement today, just kind of saying that, you know, I'm going to be by his side. I've been here through all the highs and all the lows, but they feel they have no idea where this came from. On the previous one where he failed the drug test, uh, you know, prior to UFC 200 last summer, it seems like he was he pretty much admitted to the fact that he was being careless. Uh, he took an off-brand sexual enhancement pill, and that's what led to his failed drug test this one according to his manager they did everything right they were double checking all his supplements for any potential you know tainted situations all these different things and according to them they have no idea where this came from how does ufc uh, sanction someone in this position we've seen in baseball that they you know baseball comes down really hard on people who engage in this what about ufc well right now the ufc has a agreement and a partnership with the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency, which is USADA, and they oversee all the UFC's drug testing. Uh, they have, you know, a lot of very regimented testing. Jones had been tested multiple times in the lead up to this fight, and it just so happened that it was this one that was administered after the weigh-in, so just one day before the fight that led to this result. And for him, he is already a one-time offender, and he got a one-year suspension before for this one. If everything goes through right now, you know, we do not know the facts. It could be something like a tainted supplement we've seen you saw to you know have test failures before and then it's come back that the athlete you know something went wrong or there was a misstep in the collection process or a tainted supplement and they end up getting off the hook with no punishment at all so you know jones is t entitled to his due process before he is punished but in this case assuming the worst he could get anywhere from a two-year to four-year suspension uh, uh, Mike, uh, only about 30 seconds left here, but um, you mentioned this was his comeback and, and, and now this. Do you think that he can come back once again? It just depends on what I just said there. If he gets a maximum suspension, four years, he's 30 years old right now, four years down the line, I really don't know. That's a whole different world by that point. If he ends up getting off the hook, he could be back in a matter of months. So it completely depends on what the ultimate findings are and the suspension is. Sports reporter with uh, USA Today and Rolling Stone, Mike Bond. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you.